All right, well, bittersweet just because Sony went down. Um, so ex excited to be here, um, excited to play at home. Thought we had an incredible um, crowd. The energy was amazing. Um, so I'm super thankful for our ticket office. They've done a great job of, of promoting our team and, and getting a lot of people in the stands. And I think it was over 70, 700, or 6,600 tickets that were out. Um, so just an incredible crowd. So to be able to open up with all that energy was, was amazing. So super grateful. And again, like I said, um, it was a dominant performance. Happy for the win. Just prayers up for Sony. Yeah, we um, just I just talked to them about trying to finish the game and play for her to play for her. Um, so we just talked about that. Um, obviously, a lot of players were emotional, um, but just trying to keep their spirits up by knowing there's nothing it's out of our controls. The only thing we could do is start to try to play for her for the rest of the game. So that's what um, my message was to the team. Coach, did you see what happened? I didn't. I saw. Um, I, it, it, it's not. It made it seem like like Cass yeah. fell like from and kind of bumped her, but not intentionally, obviously. Like, mm -hmm. I think she got fouled. And then you, it would seem like it was a collision. I don't know. I couldn't see it, to be honest. So it's, it was a collision from the baseline. <clears throat> I think it was a little bit of collision from the baseline. I couldn't see it. Where was she injured? And, and it's I'm, way too early. To yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I just saw her on the ground. I didn't, I didn't see. I mean, the, it's a leg knee. You know. We don't know. Yeah, we have no idea. Okay. I just saw her on the ground, so then I ran over to her. So. I'm not sure. It seemed like it was a collision. That's all I saw. It just happened. Coach, talk about your point guard, Hannah, um, what she brings, you know, brings to the table for you and on this team. Yeah, I mean, her energy, I um, think she's doing a really good job of just running the team, learning a lot on the fly. Um, she is a sponge, so she's learning a lot. Each game, just getting her, her – um, her IQ of understanding the offense is growing each game, just understanding what – because, I mean, we're playing against a team that played us in a matchup zone, so she's learning a lot of different things on the fly as a freshman. Um, but she plays with her energy, um, definitely her defensive energy. I think is really contagious with the team. Um, and, again, like just with that energy, she, she brings us on the offensive end and the defensive end, and I think she's doing a really good job of kind of learning as a freshman. Yes. Coach, you had a, kind of a skirmish when you played Northwestern a year ago, almost to the day. So before mm -hmm. the game, did you remind them to have cooler heads out there against this particular team? I just reminded them um, of the scenario that happened last year and just learning um, that what we learned last year of, you know, bench decor, like a, a lot of stuff and how to let plays go. So I did remind them. Um, we talked about it. Um, there was a lot of teaching points last year from what we went through, but I thought they did a great job of kind of understanding and, and moving forward. Coach, having a player like Hannah, do you try to contain her, her energy, her emotion, because she's so skillful? I have so many skills. Is it difficult to like contain her energy or try to get her to like, you know, yeah. not to get in foul trouble or just, you know, her height? Yeah, um, no, I try to let all the players kind of be themselves. Um, but there are times where I'll definitely try to settle her down or whoever needs it. Um, a lot of communication of what I what I want. But a player like that, you kind of allow them to, to be able to work their magic on the court, and that's what she does. Coach, are you resigned at all to the possibility that even though it's kind of an unfair ask of Hannah because it's so early in her career, they might have to rely on her a little bit until Olivia comes back and depending on what's going on with Sonia? I'm sorry, say the beginning um, of that? Are you resigned to the possibility that you might have to rely on Hannah more than you probably planned on as long as Olivia is out and now maybe with Sonia out for a while? I mean, I think it's an opportunity for everybody to do more. You know, um, we have an incredible team, not just one person. This team is very balanced. Um, Cash, um, KK's back, you know, like we have a lot of great players on this team. So everybody's just got to do a little bit more. Just like when Olivia went down, everybody stepped up and did a little bit more. So that's what I'm going to um, ask our entire team to do. Coach, could you talk about the contrast of being a game down 8-0, a couple of quick turnovers, and then all of a sudden you're behind back passing for layups? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, credit to Northwestern. They came out on they came out very aggressive. Um, I thought they had a great start. We just didn't start very well. Then we kind of settled ourselves in, had to call a timeout, um, and then started playing Irish basketball. But, and that's just getting stops defensively and um, getting out to run a transition. So definitely wasn't the start that I wanted, but it was – it was a good I, – I was proud of the group of responding to having a small little bit of adversity in the beginning of the game. But we need to start better. Was that home opening jitters or just something that Northwestern was doing early with like, just getting a lot of hands on passes early? Yeah, I think we just came out flat for whatever reason. Um, you know, I feel like we had – we only had basically one practice turnaround from our game on Sunday. 
Um, but I just thought we kind of went, we came out in a very, very slow pace, which I'm not sure why. So got to talk to the leaders about, you know, how we're preparing. But um, it could have been a little bit jitters. I know they were really excited about playing at home. So definitely could be a mixture of both. What did you say during that timeout? Because it was 15 straight points right after the timeout. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I mean, I just – Maybe you could tell them what I said. I don't know. <laughs> but um, I just <laughs> I just was just, you know, really um, focused on their, like their defense and, and taking care of the ball and playing the right way. And um, I, I focused on that. But, like, my message was, like, we, we, we were sleepwalking, mm. you know. So we had, I talked about picking our energy up defensively. And we got out and we pressed. And, um, you know, like, Cass came in and did a great job of getting deflections. We got some steals in the backcourt and just really got, helped us get going. But that's pretty much my message. Yes. If we can ask you about Saturday, what, you, you guys have been globetrotters. What are you looking forward to about that trip specifically, sharing with your team? Yeah, I mean, just visiting um, D.C. We're going to cha- get a chance to like, explore the city, do a tour of the city, some historical sites. Um, we're going to take a um, group of young um, high school um, teenagers with us in Illinois. So it's kind of a community give back as well. Um, we're going to go to the African-American um, Museum, History Museum, so that's going to be – um, very a lot of really great culture and history that we're gonna we will get a chance to kind of be mentors for that so that's gonna be awesome but it's not just about the game um, you know we're trying to empower our, our student athletes um, and being able to be in our nation's capital is gonna be an opportunity um, for us to use our platform for good hey coach talk about your senior base they're they're big they're all seniors mainly what leadership qualities do they bring to the team being seniors and being around yeah, I mean, I think they're all unselfish. Um, we have incredible chemistry. Our team is really, really close. Um, so I think they do a good job of, like, keeping us balanced on and off the court. Um, their confidence, experience, that really helps us. And, this, like, that really helps with our leadership qualities, that they've been here for so long. They know my system. Um, and like I said, they're very unselfish with the way they play. Yes, real quickly, talk about your experience with the Canadian Olympic team over the past weekend. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was great. Um, I think it was extremely, like, fun just because I got to play – three games in four days and I it was just like a lot of basketball in a short amount of time um but learning on the fly getting to get a little bit of knowledge here and there um but extremely thankful to coach Ivy for letting me go also especially coach you wrote up the press pretty early on in the game talk about you know what that you know different look brings to your defense and you know how much of you know how how important that will be to your identity defensively this year yeah I'm we've been trying to work on extending the defense I think I have you know great defenders um and that's something that we've been working on this summer, working on the preseason of really finding ways to put pressure on the ball and um, you know, trying to create our offense from, our, from turnovers. And I thought we did a great job of that today. And we're going to continue working on, continue getting better at that. For Cass, what, can you describe what Sony does mean to this team? It seems like the game's never too fast for her. Mm-hmm. You know, really what are you doing with the press? Uh, I think. I mean, Sony's just a great person. On the court, you guys see it. She's so consistent. We know what we're going to get every game from her. Um, her effort, she really, I think, especially like from last year, seeing her grow as a leader that she is, um, she's amazing. And she just cares for us, for the team. That's why she plays so hard for us. So I just love her. I hope she's okay. We're definitely praying for her.